Alright, final leg. We are here to talk about the Jamaican National Championships that just went down over the past four days down in Kingston, Jamaica. Amazing performances. Of course, Jamaica is known for those sprints and they did not disappoint at their national champs. First off, we had the women's 100 meters. Huge, huge story. We saw Elaine Thompson and Shillianne Fraser-Price really progressing through those rounds. They were running extremely consistent, dropping their times from the prelims to the semis. Once we got to the finals, we saw Thompson versus Shillianne Fraser-Price. They went toe-to-toe -to -toe all the way to the line. Thompson managed to eke out the win with a run of 10.73 seconds. Huge, huge time for her. One of her fastest times in such a long time. This is not only a world lead, a great race for her. Shillianne Fraser-Price was right behind. Same time of 10.73 but Thompson edged out the win. So this is a great, great turn of events for these ladies. They have been really inconsistent a little bit over the past couple years. Of course, Shelly Ann Fraser Price gave birth a couple years ago as well. So huge comeback from her. Thompson is really getting back onto things. So we're going to see if these two ladies can really get back on the top of the podium when we get to Doha. Behind them, though, we had Brianna Williams. She's coming from Jamaica. She's only 17 years old. She managed to grab a spot on the team in a Jamaican junior record of 10.94 seconds. Great, great personal best from her. Of of course, we've seen her progressing all throughout the past couple years, coached by Otto Bolden, so really strong performances for her. 10.94, that's a Jamaican junior record. That's also a world under 18 record, so great performance. We're going to see a lot more from her, and she's definitely going to be contending as we go throughout the years, not only in Doha, but hopefully when as we progress throughout the years, going to the Olympics and future world championships. So great performances from all these ladies in the 100 meters. Now, in the women's 200 meters, we had Elaine Thompson. She managed to grab the win in that 200 meters over Shelly Ann Fraser-Price, 20 too flat for her. Great world-leading performance. Of course, we're seeing her improve, so Thompson is definitely going to be a threat in that 100 and the 200 meters. Right behind, again, Shelly Ann Fraser-Price, she managed to grab that second place spot in 22.26 seconds, so getting closer to her personal best there as well. And then in the third place, we have Shaloni Calvert. She managed to grab the third place spot in 22.96 seconds, so really strong 200 meter team that Jamaica is going to be sending to the Doha World Championships. Now, still with the women, but up in the 400 meters, we had Sharika Jackson. She's been one of the most consistent for 400 meter runners over the past couple years in the world and also took some time last year to run the 200 but she managed to grab the win in a personal best of 49.78 seconds great great performance from her again that's a personal best improving upon her previous best of 49.83 so she's really getting consistent this is the number two time in the world only behind Charlene Miller Weibo from earlier this season her she's been running really well so great performance from Sharika Jackson right behind her we had Anastasia Leroy and then also Stephanie McPherson making that team to Doha so Jackson's definitely going to be contending for a medal. Hopefully we're going to see her on that podium again like she had been in 2015 and 2016. So great performance. We're going to see a lot more from her. Now jumping over to the men's side, we had Johan Blake. He's been struggling with injuries over the past couple years. Of course, he was one of the best 100 meter and 200 meter runners behind Bolt over back in 2011, 2012, but he managed to grab the win here in 9.96 seconds. Really, really strong performance. He's getting more consistent in that 9.9 range. So we're going to see him hopefully improve into that 9.8 eights and then maybe even getting closer to the nine sevens if we can see some of his past performances come back into light here so he's definitely going to be a medal contender going into Doha behind him though we had Taekwondo Tracy as well as Rashid Droyer they ran 10 flat and 10 10 respectively so there's going to be a really strong team of Jamaicans going into Doha for that 100 meters now in the 200 meters we also had Blake again going for that win in the 200 but he managed to finish second the winner was Rashid Droyer he managed to get the win in 20.23 seconds Blake finished second in 20. 0.27 seconds. Really, really strong performances from these two guys. So Blake, again, making the team in both the 100 and the 200, as well as Doyer, both making the team in the 100 and the 200. Behind them in third place, we had Andre Ewers. He managed to come away with the third place time of 20.48 seconds. So again, really strong team in the 200 meters for Jamaica going into the Doha World Championships. Now in the men's 400 meters, we had Demish Gay. He managed to grab the win in that 400, running 44.83 seconds. He was actually the only guy to go under 45 seconds in the race. We didn't have a keen Bloomfield. He was actually running the 200 meters. He finished fifth there, so not in the 400 meters, but great performance from Demish Gay. Then behind him, we had Terry Thomas and Javon Francis. So great top three going into the 400 meters for Jamaica there. All right, so those are just some of the highlights from the Jamaican National Championships. Jamaica is always producing some of the best sprinters in the world. So we're going to see a lot more from them as the season continues and once we get closer to Doha. Next week, we're going to see the Prefontaine Diamond League going down at Stanford University since Eugene is still under construction. Some high quality fields assembled both on the men's and the women's side on the track and in the field. So keep a lookout for that. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Make sure you guys like the video and leave a comment on your favorite performance from the Jamaican National Championships. And we'll be back again very soon. Thanks.